Krav Maga one of the most effective and practical self-defense systems in the world. From its beginnings in the 1930s in Czechoslovakia to its widespread use by military forces and civilians today, Krav Maga has evolved into a global phenomenon. But how did it all begin? In this video, we dive into the fascinating history of Krav Maga, exploring its origins, growth, and impact on modern self-defense. Stay tuned! Our story starts in the 1930s with a man named Emi Lichtenfeld. Born in Hungary and raised in Czechoslovakia, Emi was a skilled athlete, excelling in boxing, wrestling, and gymnastics. But as fascist groups began targeting Jewish communities in Bratislava, Emi turned his focus to something much more urgent, survival. Using his martial arts skills, he organized local Jewish groups to defend themselves against anti-Semitic attacks. During this time, Emi began developing the techniques that would eventually become Krav Maga. His system was grounded in efficiency, simplicity, and the brutal reality of street fighting, where there were no rules, and survival was the only goal. With World War II raging, Emi fled Europe and made his way to Palestine in the 1940s. He soon joined the Haganah, a paramilitary organization that would later become the foundation of the Israeli Defense Forces, or IDF. It was here that Krav Maga began to take shape. As a combat trainer, Emi adapted his system for soldiers facing real-life combat situations. The techniques were designed to be learned quickly and applied in the most extreme conditions. Strikes to vulnerable areas, neutralizing threats as fast as possible, and adapting to any situation became the core principles of Krav Maga. After serving in the military, Emi retired in the 1960s and shifted his focus to training civilians. He modified Krav Maga's techniques to suit self-defense situations that everyday people might face. The system was designed for anyone, regardless of size, strength, or athletic ability. It emphasized fast learning, real-world application, and using the body's natural instincts. Emi's vision was simple. Krav Maga should empower people to defend themselves in any situation, whether from armed attackers or multiple opponents. This adaptability made it popular not only in Israel but around the world. In the 1980s and 90s, Krav Maga gained international recognition, particularly in the United States and Europe. It became the go-to self-defense system for law enforcement and military units outside of Israel. The FBI, U.S. Marine Corps, and various police forces around the world began incorporating Krav Maga into their training. Krav Maga's practical, no-nonsense approach to self-defense also made it popular in the civilian world. As more people sought realistic self-defense skills, Krav Maga schools opened across the globe. It wasn't about tradition or competition, it was about survival. Krav Maga is built on several core principles. First, the focus on simplicity techniques are easy to learn and execute under stress. Second, efficiency. The goal is to neutralize the threat as quickly as possible, often by targeting vulnerable areas like the eyes, groin, and throat. Third, adaptability. Krav Maga prepares you to face a variety of attacks, whether standing or on the ground, armed or unarmed. One of the most important aspects of Krav Maga is its emphasis on using your environment to your advantage. Whether it's picking up a chair or a pen to use as a weapon, or finding an escape route, Krav Maga teaches you to think on your feet and act decisively. Emi Lichtenfeld passed away in 1998, but his legacy lives on through the millions of people who practice Krav Maga worldwide. From civilians seeking practical self-defense to law enforcement and military personnel honing their combat skills, Krav Maga continues to empower people to protect themselves and others. Krav Maga isn't just about fighting, it's about survival, awareness, and building confidence in your ability to defend yourself. Whether you're facing an attacker on the street or pushing yourself in training, Krav Maga gives you the tools to stay safe. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this deep dive into the history of Krav Maga, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more martial arts content. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and check out our other videos on Krav Maga and self-defense. Stay safe and keep training.